Hello everybody. Um, this is just, oops, sorry. Just going to be a quick share of this right here. I'm going to click the light on. I don't know if it will make it worse or better. Um, this is my entry to Crafty Irina's um, little giveaway that she's doing for um, Marla H.'s birthday. So Marla, this is for you. If you don't want to see it beforehand, go ahead and turn it off now. Okay? All right. I created the envelope. If you guys want to know how I did this, just let me know in the comments that you'd like to see how to do this um, dimensional envelope. I need to glue that down a little bit better. But I am going to decorate this up real quick and take it over to the uh, post office. But um, this is what I made. And this is the pocket letter from Marla. So I'll set the envelope aside. And let's see if I can remember how I did this. All right, let me see if I need to back out at all. I think we're pretty good. I can um, lift it up if I need to. Might need to come down a little. There we go. All right. Now, this is only my second pocket letter. My first pocket letter I ever made was for Sunny. And um, this one's for Marla. And I'm not going to share what's in the, in the back in the goodie envelopes. Um, that's for Marla, but I, I will show the front. I created the front with just one sheet of 12 by 12 um, paper. And I have that right over here. Hang on. I'm doing it again, girls. Sorry. And this is the same, this is the same paper pack that I used to create um, Sonny's because I loved it so much. Um, let me show you the sheet that I used for Marla's. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to find it because I'm trying to hurry. Okay. Alright. So, this is the sheet that I started with. Okay, and you see how how wide this is? You know that's wider than the pocket letter. Here's the pocket letter. Okay, so what I did is I started cutting the rectangles this way. And then when I got to this section, I cut a strip off this side so that the, the border goes all the way around it. You see? And I did that just by, I cut these at, I can't remember what I cut these at. Two, I think it was two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I cut two and a quarter inch strips this way, and then down this side, and then I started at the bottom and I cut them at three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. So, um, actually I think I've, I think I've got this one in upside down. That's why it's not looking right to me. Hang on. Okay. All right. So here, what I did is you can see this part of it is the bottom part here. Well, then for this part, I actually trimmed from the top up here so that I took a section out along here just so I could keep this the light blue in the center it's just on how you cut the paper you can utilize your paper to make it you know follow and this one's in upside down too sorry guys Let's see if I can get them out there we go Should have been better prepared. Try not to damage the flowers I made for you, Marla. There you go. Now you can see it's like got a border all the way around it. That's just how I, I just play with the paper and look at it and say, okay, I'm going to have to trim away 
you know, a section in the middle just so I can make it look right. Just play with your papers. Make them do the work for you. All right. Um, I've added some ribbon and some, oh, I can't remember what that stuff's called. It's not the, it's not the, like, fun for it. It's the stuff that you get in, like, the decorator section at Michael's. It's like a glitter stuff. But I just tied that in. I put a strip of um, some of the light blue paper from the middle up through here and punched the holes back through. This is one of the flowers I created a while ago, and it kind of matched this paper, so I just added that. And um, these are put down here with a repositionable um, dot, so you can reuse these, Marla. So I did that, and I made you some um, Martha Stewart butterflies, and they're actually layered. So if you put them on a project, you can you know separate their wings a little bit and make give them some dimension. And then these I created with um, a couple of my flower punches there. So there's the butterflies and then the flower I made. And uh, where it says, hello friend, that's where your letter is. And then on the portion where the bird, um, bird cage and that is, I added a little, a little glitter glue just to bling it up a little bit. These are just some tiny gold butterflies cut from the paper in the paper pad and um, I gotta fix that flower it's driving me crazy uh, I punched these out of some of the paper from the paper pad as well sorry I gotta fix that petal if I lay down it doesn't want to there we go all right, now the fun part. You know the little envelopes I showed y'all how to make? I made them for the back, see? And they kind of got a hint on what's inside, like the cup with the tea bag and the teacup. That's got a tea bag in it. This is where your letter is here. And this, I've, I've put some things in there. And there's some goodies in there and some goodies in there and there and there and there and there so Marla I'm gonna go ahead and get this in an envelope I've got your address because you um, participated in my challenge so I have your address and I'll get this in the mail and if y'all wanna see how I created this for the pocket letter just let me know and I'll share that with y'all okay thanks for watching guys Happy birthday, a day late, Marla.